Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. How to respond to "How are you" in Chinese? Okay, let's get started. The first one is 你怎么样 How are you doing? 你怎么样 How are you doing? 你怎么样 This is a very casual way of saying hello or、mm, keeping updated. So, what's new about you? Like that, or just、uh, how are you? Are you good? Like that. So, 你怎么样 The next one is 你最近还好吗 How have you been recently? 你最近还好吗 How have you been recently? This is a casual way of saying hello, but a little special thing about this way of saying hello is maybe you already know there's something going on with your friend. For example, your friend just got a disease and have been staying in hospital for a long time, or have been going through a breakup, or just got a new job but very busy but have a very bad boss. So you can say, "Oh, 你最近还好吗 How have you been recently?" The next one is 我很好 I'm fine. 我很好 I'm fine. So when somebody is asking you how have you been recently, you can respond 我很好 I'm fine. Actually, in Chinese, 很好 is a little better than fine based on my understanding because 很好很 is very 好 means good. So it actually means I'm very good. 我挺好的 I'm pretty good. 我挺好的 I'm pretty good. For example, your friend has been in America study for master degrees. Maybe you are a little、uh, worry about how he's doing in America. You can ask, Oh, how have you been recently? How are you in America? That you actually very enjoy America's life. You can say,、mm, I'm doing pretty good. 我挺好的 It means you are satisfied with your life situation. The next one is, 我也挺好的 I'm doing good too. 我也挺好的 I'm doing good too. So when your friend is say, I'm doing pretty good. 我挺好的 And you too. You are satisfied with your life, with your work. You can say,、mm, I'm doing good too. Or if you do not want to share with your friend more information about your life, even you're not doing good, you can also say like, 我也挺好的 Yeah, I'm satisfied. That's okay. Yeah, if you do not, it's like、mm, it's like a pragmatic function. Use it for close、uh, conversation. Um,、mm, 我也挺好的 Next one is 我最近有点忙 I've been pretty busy lately. 我最近有点忙 I've been pretty busy lately. So 有点 actually in English literally it means a little. But why do we say um actually we are very busy? But why do we say I'm just a little busy? 我最近有点忙 It's just、uh, I think not putting so much pressure on the person who heard it. If you say, "Oh, I'm very busy," maybe the person or your friend will feel worried about your life. Oh, why are you so busy? Are you okay? How are you? So just not to putting so much pressure on your friend. You will say,、mm, "I'm just a little busy." Actually, is I'm very busy. <laughs> 我最近不太顺利 Things are not going very well with me. 我最近不太顺利 Things are not going very well with me. So if you know your friend just got a new job in a very good but busy company, yeah. How have you been recently? 你最近还好吗 Your friend can say maybe saying like 我最近不太顺利 It means hmm. In this company, things are not going very well with me. Maybe he doesn't get along with his colleagues, or the project has some difficulty in progressing. So the next one is 一言难尽 It's a long story. 一言难尽 It's a long story. Okay. For example, if you Have been through a lot of difficulties recently. Your company fired you, and、uh, your mom has been pushing you to get married, just like me. So <laughs> you have been exhausted recently, and your friend is asking you, "Hey, how you have you been recently?" And there's so many things you cannot cover in one word or in one sentence. There are more than one stories that makes you exhausted. You can say. 一言难尽 Or sometimes you just don't want to share so many details personally, so you can say, "Oh, 一言难尽 So people will not ask you further. The next one is, 谢谢你的关心 Thank you for asking. 谢谢你的关心 Thank you for asking. 
for example, if I have been fighting with my boyfriend and one of my friends has know that and uh, she's trying to pry on the details, she's just been gossip. She's asking, oh, how have you been recently? How are you with your boyfriend? Are you okay? Like with that ironic smirk on her face, I would just say, mm, 谢谢你的关心. thank you for asking. That means I don't want to share any details about it. Your concern is appreciated, but that's all. I don't want to talk anything about it with you. So it's a little different with uh, thank you for asking. It's not really appreciate somebody asking. It's just that I don't want to share with you about details, but your concern is appreciated. And that's all. So it's a way of close the conversation. The next one is 不好不坏. Not too good, but not too bad. 不好不坏. Not too good, but not too bad. So if somebody asking, oh, how have you been recently? If uh, you got a new job, but you lost the money in the stock market. So something good happened, something bad happened. Mm, so when you take everything into account, mm, 不好不坏. So it's like, mm, so it means not too good, not too bad. Something good happened, something bad also happened. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer most of your common Chinese questions. The question for this lesson is, how do I say excuse me in Chinese? As an English learner, I found the English phrase excuse me extremely useful. You can use it in many circumstances. I've been asked by my students if there is one literal translation or phrase that's like it in Chinese. Unfortunately, there isn't. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to say excuse me in different circumstances. Scenario number one. You want to get someone's attention, so you can wave at them and say, Ni hao. It's easy and polite. In a restaurant, you may say to a waiter, Ni hao, dian tan. If you're lost in a shopping mall and try to find the elevator, you may ask a sales lady or shopper by saying, Ni hao, qing wen dian ti zai na li. Scenario number two. You're passing through a big crowd. You might say, 借过一下. The literal translation for this is, borrow your way a little. So you're on a crowded train at rush hour and you need to get off. Just elbow your way out and say, 借过一下, 我下车. Scenario number three. You need to apologize. For example, you have to excuse yourself from a conversation to answer an important phone call, or you just sneeze really loudly. You can apologize by saying, 抱歉. Or in this case of a phone call, 抱歉, 我接个电话. 抱歉, 我要离开一会儿, 马上就回来. Hi everybody, Inru here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer more of your common Chinese questions. The question for this lesson is, how do I say no to an invitation politely? Chinese people are known to be very friendly and hospitable, especially when they know you're from another country or and learning Chinese. You're probably going to be invited to their house for dinners or parties that you may not want to go to. How do you turn down these invitations without being rude? It would be ideal if a simple 不用了,谢谢, no thank you, would do. But the reality is, Chinese people always try to avoid using the word no. To turn down an invitation, you usually will first apologize for not being able to make it, then give the reasons why you can't go, just like in the following conversation. 明天有空吗? 来我家吃晚饭吧! Are you free tomorrow? Come have dinner at my place. 真不好意思,明天晚上我要上课,改天吧. I'm so sorry, I have to go to a class tomorrow night. Let's do it another time. In this conversation, person B didn't say no. Instead, she explained why she couldn't go and suggested doing it another time. This is the Chinese way. You don't want to say the word can't, 不行, or won't do, 不好, and you'll want to explain why. Many times, you don't even have to give the real reason. You can use a very vague term like 我有别的事情. I have other things to tend to, or 我有别的安排. I have other plans, 
So if you don't want to go to a party and don't feel like giving the real reason, you might say, 不好意思，我有别的事情去不了了。你们玩的开心。Saying no or turning down an invitation is not always easy. I believe it's not only difficult in the Chinese culture, but in many other cultures too. It's human nature that you don't want to say the word no. I hope after today's lesson, you will find a way of saying no properly and politely in Chinese. Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. Top ten phrases tourists should never use. Never use. 好恶心 That's disgusting. 好恶心 That's disgusting. I ever read an article about maybe ten most disgusting food in the world. The top one is a black egg in China. Actually, I like it. Actually, we eat it as a cold appetizer. So before the main course. So if you look at oh, how 恶心 it looks 好恶心看起来好恶心 it's really disrespectful for your friends because it's very traditional Chinese food and usually Chinese like it. Don't judge its food by its cover. <laughs> 我们国家比这里好多了 My country is better. 我们国家比这里好多了 My country is better. Do not. Compare your country with China or with other countries easily because there's not really a common or a correct standard for saying one country is good, another country is bad. This culture is good, this culture is bad. Do not be so judgmental. 我宁愿回家 I'd rather be back home. 我宁愿回家 I'd rather be back home. 宁愿 Feels like, hmm, I don't like be here. I want to go home. So it sounds you don't want to spend time here. You don't like the people around here. You don't enjoy the time with your friends or the place or the environment. It sounds negative. 我来错地方了 I picked the wrong place to visit. 我来错地方了 I picked the wrong place to visit. 错 means mistake in China. 来错 is like I make a mistake. I shouldn't be here. 错 is always negative because it means mistake. 我对你们的文化不感兴趣 I'm not very interested in your culture. 我对你们的文化不感兴趣 I'm not very interested in your culture. I think it's always good to be open to other cultures, to learn more, and、uh, to be more open-minded. And you will enjoy the fun part, and you'll be less judgmental by being by having an open attitude for a lot of cultures. You will see clearer. You will have another perspective for your own culture. It's actually a very fun thing to do. These people look strange. These people look strange. 这些人看起来好奇怪。These people look strange. 这些人看起来好奇怪。奇怪 means weird, strange. It sounds like they shouldn't look the way they look. So, um, it's it's uh, it sounds like you do not like the way they look. 还是去吃麦当劳吧。Let's just eat at McDonald's. 还是去吃麦当劳吧 Let's just eat at McDonald's. It sounds like oh, I give up. I like trying so many restaurants. I don't like any of them all. I don't like anything here. Ah,、uh, let's just eat at McDonald's. Let's just get it over with. I give up for trying the food in China. But actually, I feel McDonald's. It's different in every country. Yeah, even ordering the same thing, you will get different sauce, or it will taste、uh, different. So maybe trying the local McDonald's is not bad. This is too much. This tastes awful. This is too much. This tastes awful. Literally, it means difficult. Chi means eat. 
So 难吃 means literally means it's difficult to eat. It's a very negative word towards the food. They say words are very difficult. Their language sounds awful. They say words are very difficult. Their language sounds awful. Nan means difficult, like what I just said. Ting means listen, so it's not comfortable for my ears. So it means it sounds awful. 我再也不要来这里了 I will not come back here again. 我再也不要来这里了 I will not come back here again. It implies that you had a such bad experience here, and you don't want to come here again. Like instead, you should say, "Oh, I want to come here again. 我想再来这里 Like I will recommend to my friends. 我会推荐给我朋友 Recommend, 推荐 The question for this lesson is, "What are the taboos I need to be careful of in Chinese culture?" The biggest taboo in Chinese culture would be to mention the word death, 死 or anything related to it. Especially on happy occasions such as New Year, 新年 wedding, 婚礼 or birthday. In China, people hate the word 死 so much that they even hate the number four, 死 which sounds the same as 死 but has a different tone. Hospitals sometimes don't even have a fourth floor, 四楼 Apparently, nobody wants to go to that floor. When choosing their lucky date, 良辰吉日 to get married. Couples will avoid dates with the number four, such as the fourth day in lunar calendar, or 农历初四 On the other hand, the number six, 六 eight, 八 nine, 九 are considered lucky numbers in Chinese culture. There are other taboos which are relatively minor. For example, you don't want to wear a green hat because it means that your wife or partner is cheating on you. You don't want to stand your chopsticks up in a bowl because bowls with chopsticks stuck in them are for the deceased. You don't want to share a pair, li, because to share a pair is fen li, which has the same pronunciation as fen li, to separate or to part ways. When giving gifts, try to avoid giving umbrellas, san, and zhong clock, because the pronunciation of san is close to san, which also means to split. Or to part ways, the pronunciation of zhong is the same as zhong, and song zhong means to see a deceased person for the last time before they get buried. So to review, let's make a list of all the do's and don'ts we just talked about. 不要说死 don't say death. 不要戴绿帽子 don't wear a green hat. 不要把筷子插进碗里 don't stand chopsticks up in a bowl. 不要分离 Don't share a pair. 不要送伞不要送钟 Don't give umbrellas and clocks as gifts. 你好，你好，你叫什么名字？我叫张林。我叫王小芳。你是哪国人？我是美国人。你呢？我是中国人。你喜欢中国吗？喜欢。你喜欢中国菜吗？也喜欢。Top ten compliments you always want to hear. Let's begin. 你很帅。You're so handsome. Okay, the first phrase is 你很帅 In English, it means you're so handsome. Usually, we say it to guys, to male. 你很帅。很 means very. 你 means you. 帅 means handsome. Um, if you want to compliment your boyfriend or you want to flirt with one guy, you can say 你很帅 You have to say it with emotion. 你很帅 If you're a guy and nobody say it to you, it's okay. You can say it to yourself. 我很帅我很帅我 means I. You got it? 你真漂亮 You're so beautiful. So 你真漂亮 means you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. 你真漂亮你真漂亮漂亮 means beautiful means pretty. Usually we say it to girls, and it can be girl to girl or boy to girl or, or you can say it to yourself. Um, 我真漂亮 Um, we don't usually say that. <laughs> 你很聪明 You're so smart. 你很聪明 
In English, is you are so smart. Um, sometimes it can be ironic. I say like if you um cheat, um in the exam, you can say um, you are so smart. So it actually means yeah, you're very um good at tricking. So what? So be careful the tone when you say that. You are so smart. Um, you are so smart. You are very smart. You are great. So the next one is great. 厉害你很厉害 means you are great. So it's very common. You can use it every day to every to different people. You can say it to your kid, to your brother, to your sister, to your friend. So for example, your friend passed the exam. Your friend got a new girlfriend. Um, your friend is on TV. <laughs> You can say 你很厉害 or you can just simply say 嗯厉害 with this in China it means 厉害真棒 awesome. So next one is 真棒 awesome 真棒 yeah like this is so delicious 真棒 this restaurant 真棒 and um um ah、uh, we're going we're going to Hawaii tomorrow ah 真棒 so you can use it um not only for people. But also for situation, it's very useful. Remember it. 真棒，干得漂亮 ，beautiful job. 干得漂亮 ，beautiful job. So your team got the first place in the competition. 干得漂亮 ，your team player, um,、mm, did a very good presentation. 干得漂亮 ，beautiful job. 你的性格我很喜欢 ，I like your personality. 你的性格我很喜欢。I like your personality. 你的性格 your personality 我很喜欢。I like it. Or in Chinese, you can convert the order. 我很喜欢你的性格。Um, usually we don't say it to our boss or to our teacher, to our professor, or to our family members. Usually we say it to the people we like or the people you want to flirt with. 你的品味很好。You have good taste. Your 品味很好 You have good taste. Or you could just say, "Your sense 很好 I like your sense. You visit your friend's home and you like the design. You can say, "Oh, your 品味很好 You have good taste in choosing the right furniture and the、uh, very good design. This shirt looks great on you. 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 This shirt looks good 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 on Useful part, or you if you don't remember, you don't know the Chinese word before the sentence, you don't know what's the Chinese word for the shirt, for the sunglass. You can just say, 嗯，很好看 Remember that, 很好看跟你在一起，我总是很开心 I'm always happy when I'm with you. Okay, the next one is 跟你在一起，我总是很开心 I'm always happy when I'm with you. So 跟你在一起 means I'm with you. 总是很开心 means I'm always happy. Or you can reverse your order. Um, 我总是很开心跟你在一起 So you can uh use it not only while you're dating somebody or with your friend or even business situation. It's like I'm always happy when I'm working with you. So 跟你在一起工作我很开心跟你在一起吃饭 I'm having dinner with you, so you can use it not only in business situation or in casual occasion. 跟你在一起，我总是很开心。